The call to the member for Hume. My question is to the Treasurer. New Roy Morgan research has found that in the three months to June this year, 1.43 million Australians Minister were at risk of mortgage change. stress. So why does the government's so-called wellbeing framework measure mortgage stress using data that ends in 2020? Why is this Treasurer so out of date and out of touch? Order the Minister for Climate Change. Order the member for Deakin and the Minister for Climate Change will cease interjecting. The Treasurer has the call. Well, Mr Speaker, those opposite may not care about the wellbeing of our people and our communities, but we do. We do, Mr Speaker. And as Order. the wellbeing framework that I released, Australia's first ever national wellbeing framework, as it acknowledged in the report, if the member had actually taken the time to read it, uh, is that we acknowledge in the report uh, that people are under the pump. And one of the reasons why people are under additional pressure is because interest rates started going up before the election and continued after the election for all of the reasons uh, that intelligent people in this parliament are aware of, Mr Order. Speaker. And so he can uh, ask all the questions he likes. It takes uh, quite a bit of effort to get him out of his hole, Mr Speaker, and ask a question. <laughs> I think he's asked one question about the budget in the months since the budget was handed down, and so I'm happy to take his questions. Now, when it comes to Order. the cost of living more broadly, and he asks me about the pressure on Australian families from higher interest rates and inflation, the which peaked in quarterly terms Deacon on their watch, uh, and the global economic uncertainty uh, that we are seeing. Now, Mr Speaker, one of the reasons why uh, this is the least coherent, least convincing and least credible opposition on the economy in living memory is that it took them 80 days to tell us how much their budget reply cost. Now, Phileas Fogg got around the world in 80 days, Mr Speaker. Order. It took 80 days for those opposite to tell us the how much Treasurer their policies will, will cost. The Treasurer will pause for a moment. Order. Whoever's interjecting can cease that immediately. And I'll hear from the member for Hume on a point of order. On relevance. Uh, the question was very specific. It asked why the wellbeing framework was so out of date and out of touch. Order. Order. The Leader of the Nationals, the member for New England, Treasurer in continuation. Mr Speaker, as I acknowledge at the start of the question, Order. the wellbeing framework itself says that Australians are under pressure. One of the sources of that pressure is higher interest rates. We've made that clear. And one of the reasons why we are so serious about this wellbeing framework is because we want to make sure uh, that the data that we rely on to make good decisions in our economy is as good as it can be. And we will continue to refine the wellbeing framework in ways Order. that I said on the day that it was released. But Mr Speaker, I tell you what won't be happening. Order. Members we, won't be taking lectures. we won't be taking lectures about the economy from the party where we have the Leader of the Opposition that says we should be spending more on cost of living help. The Shadow Treasurer says we should be spending less on cost of living help. And then we've got the Shadow Finance Minister who said that she read one of my speeches and said I was heading in the right Order. direction. <laughs> Mr Speaker, they've got three different spokespeople and three very different positions. Their time would be much better spent getting some coherence and some credibility uh, in their approach to the economy. It has been entirely missing. Now, we have spent a big chunk of our first year in office trying to clean up the mess that they left of the economy and the budget. And if you look at the scoreboard, Mr Speaker, Order. if you look at the scoreboard, you've got unemployment at 3.5%. You've got the first surplus in 15 years. We're rolling out cost of living help and inflation is moderating from the quarterly peak that we saw under the incompetence that we look at now opposite. 